one of the simplest fish dishes I know, based on the fish stock that I've made that you might have seen earlier, recipe below. This is just grilled hake with fish fumé sauce. And basically what I'm gonna just do with the fish fumé is bring it to the boil and beat in some butter, add some lemon juice and some chives, and that's it. But there's a bit of subtlety in this dish because the fish, the hake, I'm gonna coat the skin in what I call Rick's pepper mix. I came up with this sort of combination of flavors which are based partly on my uh, trip to Mexico, partly on my love of peppercorns, and also with a little bit of Chinese flavor thrown in. It just gives a very subtle and slightly hot spice, which not only works well with fish, it works well with steak, chicken, chops, everything. I even put it in veg quite a lot of the time. First of all, I put in a teaspoon of black peppercorns. This is a small amount than I normally make, but just to show you how it works. A teaspoon of white peppercorns. A teaspoon of chipotle chili, which is that smoky chili you often find in hamburger relishes. And also about a teaspoon of mulatto chili, which is a sort of sweet, sort of almost licorice but not quite licorice chili. And most sparingly, some Sichuan pepper, which about, about a third of a teaspoon which is very, very insistent in its flavour, but it's lovely having that in the background. And finally, because it's a seasoning, a teaspoon of salt. And that's it. And there you will have Rick's pepper mix. What I tend to do is just make sure it's not too well browned. There we go. There's my pepper mix. Still a few lumps of chilli in there, but that's not too bad. Now then, here's the hake. It's one of my favourite fish. It's so meaty, it's soft, but it's got plenty of flavour. It's a member of the cod family, um, so it does come quite sort of chunky. So I'm just going to melt a little bit of butter on my um, grilling pan here. That's so that I can coat the fish. See, I'm being quite generous with the butter, and then I'll just take it off the heat and slather my fish with this, and then on with the pepper mix. In most kitchens, the commonest way of frying fish is to cook it what we call a la plancha, which means you have this big metal griddle that most fish is cooked on, which is great. And what happens is the skin gets very, very crisp. But in a dish like this, I think a grill is almost a better way of cooking fish because it doesn't dominate the dish. You want a bit of a crisp skin, but it doesn't want to dominate. So I'm just going to put that in my grill now. And I've got the grill bar on fierce heat, that's 240 degrees and really high. So let's leave that for, I don't know, four minutes. So now to make this absurdly simple sauce, which is fish fumé I made in an earlier program. Just bring that to the boil. And I'm just really, you can put what you like in it. I mean, we are talking early March here when I'm cooking this. And the only thing that's come up in my garden is chives. And in a way, there's a sort of, um, it, it's quite good that, you know, sometimes all you've got is, um, is one herb. So what we've got is butter, chives, and a bit of lemon juice to finish off. So in goes my first lot of butter. Whisk, whisk, whisk. I mean, this will be intensely rich by the time the butter has thickened the, the sauce. But um, a, a little tip here, if you, if you don't want it quite so rich, just shake in a bit of flour as well. Let's have a bit of a taste of that now. So I can let that boil away. It's not going to split because the, uh, the liquid in there will... Oh, that's rather nice. But we need lemon juice. It's crying out for lemon juice. Do you know what? I, th I mean, I sometimes I think lemon juice in a sauce like this is absolutely divine. Right, so that is ready now, the sauce. All I need to do now is just add my chives. So let's go and have a look at the fish. Oh yes. I mean, that looks pretty appetizing. There we go. I mean, you could serve, I mean, it's a bit big to serve as a um, starter. So I would tend to go for this. I mean, for me, honestly, um, yeah. What could be more simple than that? The recipe below. <laughs>